I now want to talk about a different problem. What happens if you have a sound that doesn't repeat itself? For example, let's say you wanted to use a microphone to pick up the sound of an explosion or someone clapping. The signal will only last for a very short time. The microphone converts into a voltage, and you can certainly plug the voltage in here. But how do you know when to measure it? This is going past maybe hundreds of times a second, depending on whatever it's set at. How are you going to get the frequency right, and how are you going to show the plot at just the right moment? Let's pick up some sort of signal there. Is it the right one or what? We don't know. Switch the microphone on. In that case, it was probably just picking up radio interference coming through the cables. The first thing to do would be to try and estimate what sort of frequency we're going to be looking at. One way, if we're picking up sound waves, you may know that the frequency of sound waves is going to be thousands of hertz, maybe, thousands of times a second. So we want a time scale of, um, we've got a millisecond there, which might be about right. Or you can just make lots of noise. So let's say I bang this on the table. And while doing that, press the auto set button. And that will give you roughly the right scaling, which in this case seems to be about 10 milliseconds per horizontal bar and 500 millivolts vertically seems to be about right. The trouble is, you still often won't catch these things. What you can do is press the single sequence button over here. And what that means is instead of plotting over and over endlessly like it does for continuous waves, it just waits until it's triggered and then plots one single thing. So we've got the triggering level here. So what it's going to do is wait until the voltage first passes that level and then start plotting it. So let's stop. Start by pressing the run stop button. Single and go. And there you see it triggered when it first crossed here and you have a nicely lined up wave function of that particular rare event in this case. Well, I hit the table here. And once again, you can measure properties with the cursors, zoom in and out using the buttons over here.